Help me buy my name. Now, and today I'm going to tell you about Harold the Hungry Plant. <coughs> One afternoon, April was doing her homework when his uh, when her father brought her a present. He handed her a funny looking plant called a picture plant. Well, I saw a picture plant was a type of canor. Carnivorous plant. This is a special t a plant, he told her. It eats insects. Wow, April replied. <clears throat> April replied, that's cool. <coughs> April took uh, the plant up to her room and sat it on the windowsill. She wanted, uh, when she wanted it to get some sun. I'll name you Harold, she said to the plant. She began to look at the little book that came with the plant. It showed pictures of flies and spiders being eaten by the plant. April learned that she was only to supposed to feed Harold once a week. April went downstairs and outside. She looked over the yard and found a small anthill. She caught some of the ants and took them to her room. April, uh, uh, April poured the ants into the plant tank and waited. One ant crawled into the plant's pitcher and got stuck. It was trapped by the hairs inside the pitcher. <clears throat> April thought the way a uh, hero eats was very strange, but she uh, wiped him. <clears throat> on her way out of her room, she grabbed some jelly beans from a jar on her dresser. Harold saw this and wondered what a jelly bean might taste like. Flies and ants are nice, but a red jelly bean would be nice. Well, yeah. Harold was uh, just thinking a uh, jelly bean was just like a new one. <clears throat> and uh, the next time Harold, uh, Harold saw April bringing some ants, he thought about jelly beans she always ate. He wanted a red one, but when she opened the lid, it was more. It was just more ants. At least they're red and spicy, red chai. Well, this was Harold's thought. Mm. The next, <clears throat> the next week came. April brought a uh, Harold a fat wiggly worm. She dropped the worm straight into his pitcher. It was a nice treat for Harold. After only eating ants for the last few weeks. But he still wanted a red jelly bean. A week later, uh, April brought Harold, uh, Harold more insects. Harold just thought about jelly beans. He could thought about jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans. He uh, repeated the thought all over and over. April uh, ate a couple of uh, the jelly beans before he, uh, feeding Harold more insects. When April opened the lid to Harold's home, she only had a couple of small spiders. Harold was disappointed because she didn't feed him a red jelly bean, but he was very hungry. He grateful that he felt grateful that April fed him so well, yet he still wanted jelly bean. That night, when April was going to bed, she ate a jelly bean before brushing her teeth. Then she took another one, a red one, and placed it into Harold's pitcher. Harold was so excited that his wings began to shake. The jelly bean was smooth and kind of hard. As he sat in the pitcher, it became soft, uh, soft and sticky. <clears throat> and sticky. The flavor began to ooze out. It tasted so sweet, so wonderful. He felt himself glowing with joy. The next day, April noticed the, uh, that Harold looked happy. Hi there, Harold, he said. You sure look well happy today? Did you like a jelly bean? Harold tried to smile by curling one of his wings. He felt very happy. <clears throat> he really enjoyed the, uh, the jelly bean. From that day on, Harold got one red jelly bean each week. It was a midweek treat between regular meals. He grew bigger and stronger. Soon he was enough, uh, big enough to eat, uh, eat crickets and grasshoppers. <laughs> April, uh, April and Harold were good friends. Harold even got to go to school with her once for a show to tell. That day, he only uh, got a cricket to eat. 
a couple of days later, he got a green jelly bean. Wow, thought Harold. All the colors are so tasty. As much as Harold loved all the colors, the jelly bean red ones are still his favorite. Goodbye.